What's going on Guardians? Today we're doing a little bit of a different video. Um, we're not using the normal setup with the uh, Elgato obviously. This is going to be an unboxing. Um, I've just only started unboxing it. I haven't actually opened up the packaging inside or anything like that. Basically the only reason it's flopped open like this is based so you can't uh, tie my address obviously. So today we're actually going to unbox and now I've checked it to make sure. Today this is going to be the um, the raid jacket from Crown of Sorrows. So back in June, um, Season of Opulence started, and I had just basically gotten a few weeks out of college at that point, I think. And um, I spent a really, I spent basically three or four days prepping for Season of Opulence, and then for about three or four days in Season of Opulence. I just played a ton of Destiny, grinded to get my light level as high as possible that season so that I could beat the raid in the first week and get the jacket because I thought the jacket looked um, really, really cool. And we were able to do that with an LFG group. I actually have um, half of the clip uploaded on YouTube um, because uh, uh, I was using, I had to use my like PS4 uh, clip basically, which is only five minutes long because I didn't expect to actually beat it with the group I was with because it was all LFG and stuff and I just started trying to do the boss fight at that point. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to see what this jacket looks like. I've been really excited. Obviously, I've been waiting quite a while back in, if it was ordered back in, what, June um, and only got here now, uh, that would mean... What, I've been waiting quite a while, I guess a few months. It feels pretty nice. Um, I own mostly sweatshirts and things like that, so this type of jacket is not normally what I own. But we'll see what it looks like and stuff like that. I'm just really proud of like getting this raid jacket. I thought it was a really... I like Crown of Stars a lot. I love the way the boss fight... It's one of my favorite boss encounters in destiny 2 um still i think my favorite boss encounter of all time is skolas because of how difficult that is and things like that so let's lay it out right there get that box out of there um so crown star is probably my favorite boss fight in destiny in destiny 2 um however i think my overall favorite boss fight of all time is still skolas because of how tricky that boss fight was and that was another one where we were able to beat it uh, on the first try, so um, I don't know what we have here. I don't know what's in these Ziploc things. See, we have a. Uh, how do I? I don't know what these are. They're like a keychain or something with each of the um, character sig uh, insignias on it. I don't know what this is exactly. It looks like a keychain of some kind. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, Alright, so... Let's see. I'm trying to figure out the best way. Let me just open it, I guess. Oh, whoa, it came with like... Okay, hold up. We'll put that over there. So we can see that at the end. I'll probably change around the camera angle before we get to that point. It also came with... Like... What are these called? These like strap bags, basically. Uh, with the Bungie logo on it and stuff. That's pretty cool. It's gold like the the um, Crown of Sorrow um, It's gold like the Crown of Sorrow uh, Obviously the chalice in the Crown of Sorrow raid and stuff like that. That's really cool. Um, it feels quite uh, Thin but overall obviously you kind of want that for these types of bags um, That's really cool. I mean obviously I don't know if they sell these separately on their website or not, or if this is kind of something that goes with the jacket. So, um, obviously the jacket isn't purchasable anymore or anything like that, so it's relatively difficult to find. Um, so, that's pretty cool. So, we'll get to the jacket. However, I am going to swap the camera angle so that seeing the jacket is a little bit easier. What's going on, Guardians? We've changed the camera angle and stuff. You can kind of see the backdrop of my room or whatever. I'm a big Red Sox fan, if you haven't been able to tell from the name. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get into it just really quickly. Just a better angle on these, like, insignia things you can see right here. Yeah, they're like part of little keychains and stuff, so 
That's pretty cool. On the jacket, there's another one I'll show you in a second. But so, really quickly again, just to go over the bag one more time. That's the, oh, whoops, sorry. That's the bungee bag, basically. Pretty cool. Um, I wasn't expecting it when I ordered the thing. This wasn't mentioned in it. So that's really cool that they included it. I wasn't really expecting it at all. That's really cool that they included it because I wasn't really expecting it at all. So yeah, so let's just do a quick overlook, uh, overview of the jacket. You can see it's um, mostly just gray. There's nothing on the back and stuff. Um, you can see, oh no, you can't see it on the pocket over here. Uh, you can see another one of those insignia things. However, this one reads, um, can we focus in? Yeah, you can kind of see the uh, crown of sorrow written there. Sorry about the lighting, basically. Sorry about the lighting. You can see it says crown of sorrow and stuff, uh, which is really cool. Um, obviously, yeah, so the jacket's not too crazy. Um, I think it actually looks really cool. Um, and then on the inside is when it gets really cool. Nothing on the back again. But on the inside, once again, it's going to be hard to get this lighting right. I haven't really ever done something like this, so I'm sorry if it's really scuffed. <laughs> I've already recorded this once, and the mic, like, unplugged halfway through it. So, whoa. Um, so, yeah, you can see the cup on the inside, the chalice, which is really cool, I think. Overall, I just think it's a really cool jacket, and I'm just playing the mic. I'm sorry. And then if we put it on really quick... Um, let me fold that back. It's kind of thick, so it's kind of nice that it came just in time for winter. <laughs> like, that's pretty cool. That's pretty nice, I guess. Uh, it doesn't get too crazy cold here in California, sadly, so, um, not super crazy like that. Or uh, it's not going to get crazy cold out here, but yeah, you can see. I mean, it zips up and stuff. It folds over. And then, really cool, really quick. Um, the left side, you can see the little raid, um, almost like patch thing right there. And then on the right side, once again, you kind of have that raid, um, insignia. I forget what this image is from. I forget what this image is from, but you can see obviously my PlayStation ID on the bottom there. Um, it's a really comfortable feeling jacket and it fits perfectly. So... Uh, overall, I think it's a really cool idea. I keep, I'm not looking at the camera at all this whole video. I'm looking at the, just to make sure I can get everything in the picture. So, yeah, I think overall, um, it was definitely worth the time and the grind and stuff. Uh, I really wanted this jacket specifically. I haven't really, um, I didn't really, the last Wish jacket, obviously, to me, was just, uh, mostly, for the most part, unobtainable. I mean... Our p power level um, with the raid and stuff like in combination with the power level of the raid, like the two, there's a drastic difference between my power level and the raid power level. And not to mention doing LFG and stuff like that. That makes it really hard to do that raid. And I know that was obviously the first raid jacket, but I'm not really into those huge bomber jackets. Same reason I didn't go for the Scourge of the Past one. And I really didn't like the recent one with the garden. However, I really did like that jacket and really wanted it. And I, uh, I think that it was all worth it in the end. And it finally came um, just in time for it to start getting cold in the winter and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to get back to the regular Destiny content here in the future. I've got a ton of like comp games lined up to show off. And I haven't really figured out the best way to do that. But I did want to show off the jacket. And I've got some comp gameplay coming later this week. Solo comp, by the way. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed. And we're going to continue to bang out some more builds. I'm really excited for the information they're sharing on next season. Hopefully we get some cool stuff. Because, um, obviously, because uh, I really want to hear the news about the upcoming season. We haven't heard a whole lot other than One-Eyed Mask and Recluse. So... Hopefully, I'll see you guys in another video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.